Snow moving in overnight. You can see at midnight the snow is impacting virtually all of mid Michigan with the heaviest snow where you see the purple in the far southeastern part of the state. As we stop the clock at 3.30, the overall picture doesn't really change much. Still, the darker blues and purples here indicating moderate to even heavy snow. The snow does start to exit the area right around morning commute time, and you can see at 11 o'clock, the snow has moved over Lake Huron and into Ontario, and we should be out of the woods during the afternoon commute with temperatures getting above freezing, at least by a few degrees, still below average, but enough that the roadway should be clear by late afternoon. But they will be slippery in spots tomorrow morning. Keep that in mind as we look ahead of your Wednesday. No snow, just cold temperatures with clear skies. We could be in the upper teens at that particular time. By mid-afternoon Wednesday, you can see another disturbance riding up into Wisconsin in the northern portions of Michigan will drop some more snow there, but bypass us to the north. Your snow forecast through tomorrow morning calling for two to three inches uh, east of Saginaw towards the thumb. Flint included in this two to three inch zone as well as Lapeer. Shiawassee County right on the cusp. It looks like somewhere around two inches or so for you. Uh, but there could be an isolated four inch total here or there in this blue area. So that's something that will have to keep an eye and we'll keep you updated and let you know if that snow forecast has bumped up a little bit. In the meantime, we're still considering uh, watching, I should say, rising rivers. And Zach Mahulski took this shot today in Saginaw Township at the uh, Titabawassee River. And uh, you can see this handicap sign in the background here. Zach was actually able to stand in this area yesterday, so you can see how quickly uh, the water has risen. And uh, here's another broader shot. You can see the water rising all the way up. Uh, above the banks uh, through the trees there, that line of trees. So a lot of flooding still going on in many areas. For tonight, 25 degrees. Initially, we might see a little bit of a rain-snow mix, but we quickly change over to all snow. I think by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock tonight, anything that's falling should be in the snow, uh, the snow type. And uh, your forecast for tomorrow calling for the snow to end by 8 o'clock in the morning. Just some scattered flurries throughout the afternoon. Northwest winds at 10 to 18 will make that 36 Feel more like 26. Here's your extended forecast. We warm up by 10 degrees on uh, Thursday, or rather on Wednesday, and then another 12 degrees by Thursday. Both days look dry and fairly pleasant, uh, close to average for this time of year at least. And then Friday and Saturday we stay in the 50s. The rain shower chances come back though. We get a bit of a break from the rain on Saturday afternoon, but then more scattered showers on Sunday with a high of 56 and 58 degrees on Monday.